Oh right, I'm a bit excited about this because it's one of my personal favourites and it's really, really simple to do. It's uh, cod in parsley sauce. It used to be a lot more popular than it is today, probably because it's not that easy to sell it as a packaged product and it doesn't really lend itself to fast food like fish and chips does. But nevertheless, it's very, very... Or, or at least in my day as a young lad, it used to be an extremely popular uh, Friday evening meal. So, to make cod in parsley sauce, you better need some cod, eh? I've got uh, 260 grams of cod loins, and these are particularly nice. They're taken from near the tail end of the fish. And uh, it's a bit like the filet mignon of the cod. Beautiful piece of fish. The other thing you're going to need is some parsley. And if you can't get a fresh slack handful of um, fresh parsley, you're going to need about two dessert spoons. That's a dessert spoon of uh, dried parsley. I've got here 300 mils of milk. I've got some salt, got some uh, white pepper because it's a white sauce and I've got some corn, corn flour or corn starch as you may call it which I'm going to water down and add uh, to make the sauce. The first thing we want to do here is poach the fish itself so to that end I'm going to move over to this pan and uh, do some poaching. So the first thing I want to do is I'm bringing about 100 ml of, of water up to a boil and then turning it down to a really slow simmer. I'm going to add a little pinch of salt into that and then I'll swirl that around just to get it mixed. And then into that I'm going to place my cod fillets. These are beautiful, these are skinless but you can use skin on cod if you prefer can find it these days. The next thing I want to do is cover that and allow that to simmer for a couple of minutes until the cod looks like it's cooked. You can poach it open if you like but you're better off covering it to allow the steam to get in there and, uh, and cook it rather quickly. So once the lid gets hot that is when it's reached the steam, when you can't touch it. It's about going to be about three or four minutes from there until the, the cod is cooked all the way through. So there, only a few moments of a slow simmer, about four minutes in total, and those fish fillets are cooked all the way through. I don't need to worry about them being cooked. The first thing I want to do now though is transfer them uh, from that poaching pan onto a plate and I'll keep those warm. So I'll just do that with my fish slice or my pancake slice. And you see it's beautiful glistening cod loins. That's wonderful cod meat, that is. Wonderful. One of the best fish in the Northern Hemisphere, without a doubt. And perhaps the most important food fish in the Northern Hemisphere. I'll put that to one side. And then I'm just going to add in a little more salt. About a pinch, pinch more salt into there. And a pinch of pepper. I rather like pepper, so I'm going to add a fair bit that much into mine. And then I'm going to add in all the parsley and I'll stir that in. It's very parched so it'll take a while for it to become part of the liquid. Then I'm going to add in my 300 mils of milk. My two dessert spoons of cornstarch or corn flour I've mixed with, oh, I don't know, 
enough water to make it into a slurry as such and yes it is called a slurry I'll put that into that mixture and then bring that slowly back to full heat and as it does so it will thicken and to stop it um, to stop it from coagulating on the bottom you need to keep that moving all the time until it starts to heat up and that boys and girls is the hardest thing about this whole recipe it really is that simple to do and to do well so let's bring that up until it starts to thicken okay as it starts to thicken you need to keep it stirring this is important you'll notice all the um, parsley floating on the top has now stabilized inside the sauce and I've used quite a lot of parsley because I like the flavor you can use a little less you can probably get away with one dessert spoonful of parsley in this recipe but personally I like a lot because it's awesome and parsley improves the flavor of just about anything you serve it with I'm going to be serving this up with um, some baby new potatoes which you might be able to see from here baby new potatoes which have got steaming away there and some petit pois which have got simmering away there and they're from frozen they are the petit pois are from frozen which are perfectly good for this purpose now I'm going to add in back in the fish fillets and I'm going to be rather careful with them because that once cod is cooked it likes to break up and I'm going to put them back in there spoon over some of the sauce that does look good it looks good to me because I know how good it tastes it's a fantastic recipe this is people who mock and denigrate British food have never had cod in parsley sauce it's obvious isn't it here we go so once that comes back up to heat gently and it starts bubbling like it is now I'm happy to just turn that off and keep that covered until I serve it so that one broke up a bit as it is often known to do and I'll put that one on top and then spoon on some of that sauce a little over the spuddies and we'll just dress that off with a wedge of lemon gorgeous thanks for watching if you like what you see please uh, give us a thumbs up and um, many of you are not subscribed so um, please subscribe if you like what you see and um, remember that subscription costs you nothing okay but it helps me beat the uh, YouTube algorithm and gets me in front of more people so um, thank you very much for your interest and uh, I'm sure if you decide to make this you're going to make a feast of it bye for now